Welcome back steam fans. Today we're at the Huron Pond Farm to learn more about steam sterilization from the man himself, Andre Contelmo. Stay tuned. This was just prepped, you know, four or five days ago. And so the weeds will just come up in here. Um, not much chickweed left in this house because we steam it every year. Um, now we, um, we do it because we get such increase in our yields. That's another thing when you're going for tomatoes or cucumbers. Cucumbers, I guess, a little less, but tomatoes for sure. Um, people grow tomatoes here. People grow them inside. Anybody have protocillium or anything else? Yeah, yeah. So, protocillium doesn't stand a chance in steaming. Um, so we didn't know because we were like, we graft all of our tomatoes. I even graft the ones in the hay grove. I graft 10,000 plus tomatoes a year. Just graft them all. Verticillium resistant stock. It says it right on the thing. Well, resistant isn't immune. And so we did an experiment where we steamed that house, half of it. Uh, you'll see there's six lines of tomatoes there. If you look at the tomato trellises up above your head. We did three and I just did a till and then like right where the line was for the for the tomatoes I just laid the sock right where the tomatoes are gonna go turn it on and those I let run for three hour runs because I figured I was going super deep and I think I overdid it like to your point of not knowing what you need to do but I mean it all worked and the thing is you you plant all the same plants right so it's all you know that year it was all Geronimo on um, Max Fort. I've since don't grow Geronimo or Max Fort, but um, we could. Anybody want? That's a whole other conversation. You want to geek out on rootstock because that's a fun. I love doing that. I mean, we've grown so many, and which one goes best on the other? That's a that's that's some nerdy shit we can get into. But um, this was all Geronimo, all on Max Fort, and one half of the house was unsteamed and the other half of the house was steamed you plant them all you come back in three days and it looks like geez these ones on the left look like they've rooted in you know you see that paling out of the center because it's like putting on that quick growth it's like oh wow that we must have really done something over there then you every week you're measuring it then at three weeks these are here and these are here and you're like wow then an unexpected thing is how many of you are so geeky that you'll measure the inner nodes between the flower sets because I got data sheets on that too okay so basically for some reason that I have no idea and I don't care the ones in the steamers the inner nodes between the flower sets the nodules are, are shorter so at our pick height we were reliably getting six sets we get eight and over a house like that, that's between 2,500 to 3,000 pounds of fruit in your height. And so we retail those for $4 a pound. So over two of those houses, that's half the machine. And, you know, so between the winter greens production and, you know, disease control, which I never bought it for, never was going to get into disease control with it. I didn't care. But between those two things, then... You're, you're creating, it's creating its own value. How many people own a Perfecta Harrow? Did that, that paid for itself? That, that, yeah, I like that too. How many, how many own a Chichi Magli transplanter? That thing is sweet, right? Yeah, paid for itself in a year. Okay, so that's, that's, that's a Sioux steamer. That's what, that's what it is when you, when you do that. Like that, that purchase, like, well, I remember when we bought our first water wheel transplanter, we thought it was magic. You know, and that paid, you know, we were out there by hand, you know. And then when we got the water wheel, that was magic. And now the Chechi's magic. So, um, it, for me, it falls into that, that category of equipment on the farm where, like, you know, you, know, you, you buy it and, it and it works out. We hope you learned something here today. If you'd like to learn more, check out the videos over here. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a beat. Thanks for watching.